Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Stewart-Gwathney and thank you for joining me for this session on how to create a Bitmoji virtual school counseling office using Google Slides. Let's get started. During this tutorial session, you will learn how to install the Bitmoji Chrome extension, how to add background images and links to your virtual counseling office, how to use tips and tricks when adding images and links, and how to share your Bitmoji virtual counseling office online. First, open Google Chrome and go to bitmoji.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page until you see Bitmoji for Chrome icon. Click here and then click the Add to Chrome button. Simply follow the remaining steps. Then the extension appears in the top right corner of your desktop. Since Google Slides is a cloud-based presentation program, it allows you to make both online and offline presentations using any computer or internet connection with simply just logging into your Google account. So it's free, it's easy to share, and it's great for collaboration. First, open your Google Drive to access Google Slides. A new Google Slide automatically appears. To change the title layout, simply click on the Layout tab and choose Blank Layout. Now we can add a background for our virtual office. Click on background, then choose Google image search. Type in wall and floor background. Various images appear. Choose the image you like, then click insert and the background fits to your slide. Now you can design your virtual counseling office to your desire. But first, let's go ahead and insert your Bitmoji in your virtual office background. Simply click on the Bitmoji extension, type pose if you want to choose your Bitmoji standing, or type sitting if you want your Bitmoji sitting in your virtual scene. You decide. Click and drag your choice onto your slide where you desire. Now you can change the direction of your Bitmoji by simply right clicking and choosing rotate and flip horizontally. Now you can start adding images with your actual school counseling office in mind. Think of furniture boards, posters, and electronics that you can add to your virtual office for a realistic appearance. To add images, click on Insert and Choose Image. You can upload an image from your computer or search the web within Google Slides. When searching the web, type in what you are looking for and the word transparent after it. For example, if you want to add a whiteboard, Type in whiteboard transparent. Since you guys just saw the step on how to add images to your Bitmoji virtual counseling office scenes, I wanted to share actual footage of me adding several essential images to my virtual counseling office scene. So right now I'm adding a whiteboard. And for a whiteboard, you can type greetings, type announcements on this whiteboard that you want your students to see. You can hyperlink those greetings and those announcements so that the link will take them to your Google form that you have for them to fill out and you can get data from your students virtually. So I have my whiteboard. Now I'm searching for another essential image, which is a rug and a rug serves as a visual appealing um, element to your virtual counseling office just for visual appeal. It anchors the space in a room so you can center your furniture around it and you can 
uh, allow your rug to have personality so you can find rugs that have certain patterns. I chose this red rug within Google Slides images and um, I'm resizing it right now and I'm placing it on the floor of my background. You will play around with the resizing tabs. So that's something that you're going to get used to as you're creating your virtual accounts and office. So what I'm going to do is I believe I did not like the color of this rug because it didn't give the room pop. I like bright colors. So I'm going to right, right click on the rug. And when you right click, you will find several ways to modify your image. You have rotate, you have order. All those are going to serve you very well when you are creating your virtual accounts and office. So I'm going to choose format options and I'm going to click on recolor. And you can try out most of these colors just to see how it looks to you. I tried out green, but I said, no, I really don't like that. And what I ended up um, changing my image to was blue. So now this is what I want. The next thing that I wanted to add was a bookcase. So we all have bookcases in our office. You can choose to place, of course, books on this bookcase. You can place different manipulatives. You may have stress balls. So any images that you find of stress balls, any manipulatives you use with kids, you can place it on the on your bookshelf. Um, one thing that I chose to use was a was a book and a book cover of a particular book I use a lot, which is My Fantastic Elastic Brain. So I got an image for that book cover and I placed it on the bookshelf. So I'm uploading the image of the bookshelf from my computer. So if you don't find images within the Google Slides search engine, you can search within the official Google, Google Images site and you can find tons of images. So I believe I found this bookcase image from Google Images. And if those images have white backgrounds, I'm going to teach you in the next step about a website that you can use. It's very beneficial for removing backgrounds from images. So now we have the bookcase I chose. And this looks exactly like the bookcase I have in my office. So as you can see, I'm very intentional when creating my space. Now I'm uploading another image and this image is my desk. So once you have your desk in the space, you can begin to see the vision that you're going for and it all starts to come together. So right now I'm resizing the desk and I'm adding it to my virtual accounting office. <clears throat> you can double click within the tab box to crop your image. So that's a tip. <clears throat> so I'm cropping my image right now. And now I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to go to rotate and flip it horizontally. So I'm placing the desk in the lower left hand corner of my vir virtual counseling office. Now I'm going back to search the web and I believe I'm going to, yes, I'm going to uh, get my office chair. So there's some things you can find within the Google Slides search engine. I found this cool office chair, the red one. So I'm going to place this one into my virtual scene. And I'm going to place it kind of sort of slightly behind my desk. Now, one tip is you have to decide whether or not your Bitmoji is going to be sitting or standing. If it's sitting, you need to be aware of how you position your office chair and what type of office chair you uh, choose to use because your Bitmoji has to look like it's actually sitting in the chair. So then I recolored my office chair because my actual office chair is gray. And so now... The last image that I added was a television. So I'm going to go back into insert and I'm going to upload 
the television from my computer. I saved a lot of images throughout the process within a folder on my desktop. And so it really helps for me not to keep going back and searching for different images. So that's another cool tip. Create a folder for your images. So now I'm placing this transparent television on top of my bookcase. And for the television, kind of works like the whiteboard as well. I'm going to embed a gift image in that television. And so then I'll end up linking it to an actual video that it will take students to. So the theme of my whole virtual counseling office is centered around COVID-19. So I'm going to add a lot of intentional elements about COVID-19 into my virtual counseling office. So be very creative and have fun with creating your virtual counseling office space. If you find an image you really like, but it's not transparent, you can easily remove the white background by going to a website called remove.bg. This is a free site that removes the white backgrounds from images. Simply save the white background image you find onto your computer. Then go to remove.bg, click on upload image, to upload the image you have saved on your computer. The white background will automatically be removed. Click download to save the new removed background image onto your computer. Then simply go back to your virtual office in Google Slides, click insert and upload from computer to insert the new transparent background image. It's that easy. There are various ways to modify your images within Google Slides as you are adding images in your virtual office. Just right click on your image and choose Format Options. You will see several ways to modify your image. For example, if you want to change the color of your image, go to Recolor, click the Dropbox arrow, and choose the color you prefer. Now we are ready to add links to our images. This is the most intentional aspect of creating your virtual counseling office. The easiest way to start is choosing online resources you already use with your school community. Adding various types of links like Google Forms, GIFs, and videos are just a few ways to maximize your counseling services virtually for your school. A useful tip that enhances your virtual counseling office is adding animated GIFs. Animated GIFs communicates messages to your students in a creative way and also keeps their attention. So you can search for animated GIFs from tons of categories using a website called Giphy.com. Simply go to Giphy.com, search for GIFs you think your students would find interesting. In this case, let's use the word health. Simply type in health in your search engine, then click on the GIF you want to use. Choose copy link and then copy the GIF link in the middle. Go back to your virtual office in Google Slides and then click on insert. Choose image and scroll down to choose by URL. This is important because if you do not choose by URL, you will not have an animated GIF. It will not move. Once you're in choose by URL, paste the GIF link here and click insert. You will be prompted to click insert again and now your GIF is animated and is in your virtual office. So now you can resize your animated GIF and place it wherever you like. Also, you would need to right click and choose order 
to bring your gift to the front of an image or the back of an image. You decide. Next, let's add a video link to our GIF in our virtual office. You can add a link to any video or website online. Here, I'm using a YouTube video about healthy eating during COVID-19. I'm going to right click and copy the URL video link, then go back to my virtual office in Google Slides. Click on the image where I'm posting the link, go to insert and click on link. Right click to paste the video link and click apply. So now my link is added to my gift image. The same steps will work for adding Google form links or any other website links. Now this is the finished product of my virtual school counseling office. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm hovering over uh, some of the images I added links to. So for the GIF link where it says wash your hands, I added a video from YouTube on um, washing your hands properly during this pandemic. Also for the GIF that's embedded in the whiteboard, I added a website link on how to keep healthy eating habits during COVID-19. Um, and I also added something that my students use a lot of video about how to make a calming jar from home. One of the things I was mentioning before about adding your Google Forms um, to different links, the telephone link, the telephone image that I have, I added my Google Form check-in link so that I can get data about how my students are doing during this uh, pandemic. Also to the GIF uh, where the face masks are moving around, I added a video on how to wear uh, your face mask properly. And um, I added a mini whiteboard because I wanted to add a link about safety measures during COVID-19. I found this really good, useful animated video for kids. And the last thing, you can add a book link where you can read or students can listen to video recordings of different books. Once you are done creating your Bitmoji virtual counseling office in Google Slides, the easiest way to share it with your students and your school community is to publish it. Go to File and click on Publish to the Web. This settings prompt will open. You can choose to publish a link or embed a link to your Bitmoji virtual office on the web. To publish as a link, Decide personal preferences for your slide here. Then click publish and click OK. Now your virtual counseling office is published to the web and you can copy the new link here to upload it onto your school counseling website for students or to send the link out through email or Aspen to your students, parents, and staff. You can also share your link to Facebook or Twitter. Here are a few other scenes that I've created um, using Google Slides and a virtual platform called Buncee. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. Thank you so much for joining me and have fun creating your Bitmoji virtual school counseling offices. Have a great summer. Bye.